Okay, so it's been a, a little bit over two weeks, or maybe two weeks since I've uploaded a video. The most recent video was talking about needle fiber, how it's going to be printed in the TCG. Um, it's about time. <laughs> it's about time, because it's it, it's been in the LCG for quite some time, and it's just a matter of when were we going to get it. Um, but I'm still playing solid. Um, it's just like building a sinker deck, building a high sequence a combo deck right requires a lot of effort a lot of time to, to analyze the meta and understand the meta so you can um, consider card choices instead of just like throwing a bunch of cards together and hoping the deck sticks you know that there's a difference because a, a lot of that goes into thing where <laughs> you try to you try to make a deck and like you just put up oh this this is pretty good that's pretty good you just mush them together and then and then ex expect a certain result, but then you test it in the like in actual like gameplay. And it's not the same as your theory, you know. Like, like, like uh, test hands. It's good to go and hinder, right? Like it's what it's capable of. But um, sometimes can, it can be deceiving because you build something and thinking that oh, it has this as 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 it as as its disposal, right? This play has that combo, but then you you're like not considering those weird scenarios where you, some games are really awkward. So you um, end up building something that's not really viable, and that's where like, if you've if you've been part of the channel, you guys are kind of have a understanding of how the process is of, of when I build decks, right? Especially in the synchro um, uh, pre Master Rule Four when uh, we didn't have links, and even after when we use uh, Summon Sorceress to uh, to um. To have this, uh, the, the the combo sequence um, ex uh, extend itself, right? Yeah. So I, yeah, I'm playing against Dom. He's playing um, uh, Sky Striker Warcast. I play uh, Solid. Yeah, it's all I've been playing. It's um, yeah, it's just I I, I can't get myself to like play something that I've been working on because it would be what the it, what would be the point, right? Because like I, I, like I, at this point. Cause like of course you want to enjoy the game right you want to have fun you want to be able to have some creative uh, outlet apart from what's meta you know because like meta is basically established already it's just learning the deck itself and then once you learn the deck um you kind of plateau you kind of like oh I can't, you, you get kind of bored of the deck and then you want to be creative you either add tech cards that are not really seen or you just try to try, you need that itch of of wanting to be like different right that's that's like one of the biggest things that you your players face like they don't want to be the same or if you uh, if you are the same you better be the best and that's how you I guess justify playing the deck itself does that make sense hopefully it makes sense <laughs> but yeah I open up freaking double desires man I need beard his his, his board so I feel pretty good so right here like um, I end up forcing the 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 IP because like there's a point of like investing my hand right like I it'll just my, my buffalo will just get unicorn it won't trigger um, that's nothing that's like quite interesting like if they if they unicorn your buffalo it'll go to the deck but it can't activate in the deck so you, you can't even use its effect so that's, that's pretty whack so I, I go ahead and just like push it and force it which is uh, uh, kind of weird I was I was thinking like why not um, go into um, into Ningirsu, send my my guy right, and then at least you still have your IP for main phase two, and then um, what's it called it, and you still have unicorn, you know. But I'm I'm not too sure what um his thought process. Oh, this is where the camera was falling, like the the ca the camera was like the the clamp wasn't really like look at look at it, look at it. oh it's falling back, <laughs> and I just caught it too. I was like oh crap. I think that was getting kind of annoyed though. He was like, "Oh man, I would, I would much rather watch. let me see if you can hear him much." I think someone asked him a question. So, so there's something to do with that. I'd rather have Leo focus in the game instead of playing with the camera. <laughs> he was like, he's getting pretty upset because it was like, it's, it's part of the timer, but it was like less than a minute. But the thing about it is, you, you'll see what I mean. Like that minute, that would actually benefit me. Like, they, it would hands down benefit me. Oh my god. 
But yeah, like I, I, I was confused. I was like, um, I mean, maybe he has like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, like I was just confused on why he did did it that way. Just Finny, dude, I freaking have triple desires on my hand. Triple desire. Oh my god, and, and it's a fifty card deck too. It's a fifty card deck, and you draw triple desire. Like what the hell? I think uh, in this case, I shouldn't have let him know that I had the spinny. I should have gone pitch the, the, the sanctuary. Because like now that he knows I have spinny, he'll just oh I'll just send the foxy, you know. Yeah, that was like a slight misstep. Like li little intricacies like that make a big difference. Right, he'll send that, and then you use the fact. Because if I if I sent like we did not have spinny, uh, what would he have sent, you know? He most likely send the 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 the, the Nibiru, cause it's like oh, he can't cr run over my guy, yeah. So I, yeah, that's that's a little intricacy like play that you could have might have done. I should have might have done. Cause like he knows I has that. So like, uh. yeah, but wait, 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 wait. I already use the battle face. So never mind. Doesn't matter. Now, uh, uh, I don't know. It's those what if. Um, plays right like what would have happened like that's once you already commit to, the, to a, a place like wait that, that's it there's no if that play is already gone you already did this so there's no like contemplating I was like is that a cosmic cyclone but that's I was so hesitant I, was, I wasn't too sure I was like, is that a cosmic cyclone because like, I didn't want to go desires because with, with salad you don't really want to go desires before you get gazelle out of the deck like you just don't want to because you because like if, if if Gazelle's gone, that makes Stalio not as impactful because Stalio is meant to get you an interaction. But like, if it doesn't do that for you, it just gets you more recursion. So um, that's that's why I didn't desires. Because I need to be able to have some. Because um, I I use I use my battle phase already. I'm, uh, he, he's 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 gonna live. He he gets a turn. So, and I have no interaction in my hand. Like I don't. I have not, like I, of course I could have drawn into it. And right here is like since he he, he um. He chaliced my guy. I, I was forced to, you know. So I was like, okay, I have to do this. And draw a spinny, and I draw my assignment mine. I was like, oh, that's so cool. I hope I didn't banish my freaking um my gazelle, and I didn't. But I banished a jaguar, which is kind of it, it's a bit of annoying because you need that in a grind game, especially against Orcist, because you're really it's a grindy matchup. Yeah. And his hand, I'm just, I'm like, I'm just thinking, like, what does he have in his hand, like, because Nibiru sucks. Like, if he Nibiru's me, I'm like, okay, well, I just, I guess I'll just pass. Which is why I've been trying, I've been testing, um, Link Spider, right? Link Spider, and um, and because like, the token they give you, you just make it into, into a Link Spider, right? And I play um, Backup Secretary, so um, you just special it, right? You special it to a, to Link Spider zone, and then you trigger. You trigger um, uh, Sea Archiver, right? And that's your Stalia. That's so cool. And um, also, you get us to play Reclusia because this is level three. It's just another way to make Stalia. It's a fire. Um, but yeah, I was trying it for a bit because there's always like this 15th card slot in the extra deck that you just don't know what to put. Um, and which is why, like, now I'm just like, this is like, this will have this happen on Saturday. It's like, what? Today's what? Today's, um,. Say today's Wednesday. It's it's on Australia time. It's Wednesday, so it took me a while to get this um recording up. But yeah, I was um been testing uh, fusion of fire because fusion of fire let, let, lets you let lets you use um on either side of the field, so you can like and your hand. So like you can um let me, let me read it just in case I'm not freaking making a fool out of myself because if you can't do it with uh because it's a way to um. One, it's like a, a one punch uh, OTK, right? Because sometimes, like when you're playing salad, you get like you you enter this panic where you want OTK, but you're not sure if you can OTK, and you have to decide whether you want to set up instead of OTKing. Because like, oh, well, if I have OTK, then if it doesn't go through, then I just lose because I have no follow up and no no defense no defense line. So it, it is a weird panic that salad um, players sometimes go um, go into. Um, <clears throat> Yeah. Amazing. And just, I just said everything because it's a bluff. Just a bluff, everything. Like, it just looks intimidating. Sometimes people just scoop out of frustration because, like, three back growths. 
And then just creep with another two of them are bluffs, man. <laughs> two of them are bluffs. It's evenly. Evenly, boom. I still have the war, though. Yeah, no, he, no, this is where he just scoops. He just scoops right here. <laughs> let's, let's fast forward a bit. He goes first. My hands, um, I drew the sanctuary. That's annoying. But yeah, it's like Fiji Fire is like, uh, if you something once, then we go Fiji Monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or, and or either field as Fiji materials. Yeah, so you can like, um, you can uh, force the IP. <laughs> so like, you can just go Fiji the Fire. So they ha either IP or they don't IP, it doesn't matter, you still get rid of the link. And um, it gets rid of like those awkward scenarios where like they set up a bomber, right? They set up, they set up a bomber and then like you can't really like like summon to a zone because like you get nuked. So it, it's it's just not those, one of those things that I let you out those scenarios. Like you just go freeze and fire, right? They either have to chain to it or they don't. You get rid of what whatever it is that they have and then you proceed to go undisrupted, right? And that, that's why I, that's why I really like uh, Fusion Fire at the moment, because it was like the 15 card. Because I would go back and forth, what to play, like what should be the 15 card in my extra deck. And it was, it was like, oh, it's not bad, and it just solves that issue of not going panic mode where oh, it's an OTK. Because like Fusion Fire is just like you just OTK, like you just OTK. And I, that's why I really like the aspect of it, that it serves multi. It's a multi-purpose like um, thing where you can force IP, which is a, the the Orca setup. And you can oh, okay. So he's going through the motion, just uh, setting up the standard uh, Orcus board. I think he's scared of Nibiru. That's what that's, that's what was wrong. That's not with the case. I mean, my hands, a bit, um, it's not, hands not bad, it's not horrible, but if the, if the Sanctuary was like something else, I'd be pretty happy. Because like, Sanctuary doesn't really do much. The only time it's good is if you open it, it gets like thunder, because like, you, you, you can just like relink, you yeah? know? And draw evenly. So I'm thinking like, okay, what do I do, evenly or cosmic? Because like, of course, I, I want my battle phase. That's kind of what I want. I want to keep a better face. So I was like, but then, I don't know, like, do I want to save the Cosmic for something else, like a Babel? You know, that, 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 I was contemplating that, like, sorry, which, what should I do? Because the Babel is that important. Um, it, it, for sure, it'll it'll shut it off through my turn if I live, you know, like, if he sets it up, then I won't, I won't have to be worrying about, like, a Dingears to send on my turn. Because I have Cosmic anyway. But then I just decided to go with the Cosmic. And save the evenly, so like, oh, like if he bears me, or like if he makes a pushback and I have enough defenses, and he just clears them, and then during the end of the battle, just, just go evenly matched. That'd be pretty cool. I really like having evenly and um, and watch his face and chase them down against uh, Orcist. Like one second, it's so good. Like they'll keep their one of their monsters right, and then I'll just oh, okay, chase them down. Cause like you go, even, you go your battle phase. They stay there. They're not saving the babble. <laughs> so then, or they might save the babble, but like, um, then that's when you just spend, finish it off the the rest of their resources with a uh, system done. I was really contemplating what to do, cause like, there's so, there's some place where you can do with salad that's not really straightforward, but it's kind of risky. But like. Since you like, since you know you kind of lose the brew, you kind of just like let them do the setup and then have them lose equal equal amount of resources on top of yours instead of them not extending anything and neighboring you. That's like, you of course you go with the first option. Like you let them um, establish their board and then have them my, like reduce their resources with their own neighboring on top of them because uh, they kind of have to neighbor you because otherwise you just can get establish your resources. Go ahead. I was like, okay, cool. Everything's resolving. I'm clear. I'm gonna clear. Get my gazelle. Yeah, like, if you don't have interactions, like if you don't have hand traps or Nibiru or like any way to interact with your opponent, 
um, Stalio, I mean, um, Stalio becomes really, really weird because, like, you don't really want recursion if you know you can go to OTK. Like, Orchis can OTK you because of the boards or the ending gears you play. So, like, if you don't have enough bodies on board, it can be really scary. So it makes Stalio like kind of weird because you want an interaction. Because like you can open up like like a bunch of engine pieces, like more a lot of spinnies, a lot of uh, foxies, and then you just everything leads up to the to the Stalio. You're like the Stalio has to resolve because it's the only interaction it give me. You know, <laughs> it, it'll give you some recursion, but it needs that it, you you just need that one roar, that one rage to help you live for the following turn. Because if you do. And odds are you're gonna win that game because you have just so many. You have an abundance of resources. Stalio bounces out there. Yeah. Thinking about it. Just thinking about. It. Yeah, and I just go ahead and link away the gazelle, so I can add back something for recursion. Right, add back the gazelle. Because yeah, uh, and then I just go battle phase, poke some damage. I'm not sure about no, nah, yeah, no. Nah, it was better if I just did that. Cause what does he have in his grave? Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, yeah, it's better if I just did. Cause that means he needs to have another monster to so make Galatea again. But even then, he just bring back Galatea by. So I really like the wolf. The wolf add back. So at, at this point, I'm like, oh, that I feel pretty good. I got, I got, call of the grave. I've got um, roar. I mean, I feel pretty good. I like that's two interactions. Like that, that's really two, two strong interactions. Like it's, it's really good. Set, and then I go past, and that's when he goes. I was like, what the hell? Like, that took me by surprise. I was like, why didn't you do it earlier? <laughs> I was like, what? You let me get all these resources back. And then, like, I don't know, like, it just felt like a, a, a little bit late. And this is where I was thinking, oh, should I set evenly? Should I not? Because I have a dead roar. You know, I, so I can't really use it unless, like, he, I risk it. And, like, hopefully he just sends it. And then I'll just even keep the evenly hand. But I was like, what if he doesn't, you know? At least, at least like, if he has a board, I can just, like, clear... Like, have him decide just to keep him by two cards. Like, you know, like, Babel's gonna be one of the cards that he, he he's gonna have, so that's already a guarantee. That's two. So it's like, what's he gonna keep? You know, so that's what I was thinking about. But, I don't know. It was a tricky, a tricky one. But yes, yeah, so you see what I mean? Like, by the Link Spider, the token, you just um, link away the token for Link Spider, special backup, because uh, Link Spider is a Cybers. And for backup secretary, you need to have a cybers. So you special it to a zone, and then you trigger archiver, and then you just continue from there. It's a little neat thing, right? And it's cool because like once you go stalio, you use effect, you um, link summon into um, wolf, right? And then you bounce your link spider, so you can do it like for the later turn, and you just relink the wolf. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's so cool. You relink the wolf, activate the 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 the, the jaguar that you would, you obviously would you'd summon. Add back any other fire and uh, continue from there. Engage. <laughs> right now I'm like, okay, so he has the gear so you can send either the token or the back row. But of course, I have to after burn. After burn, gonna get rid of the, the monster and one of my back rows. Oh my, it's so good. Sky Shocker cards are so freaking good, man. It's like a plus one every single time. I'm not sure if I should have, I should have risked this. I think I should have just risked it and like let's see what he sent. 
Because that, like, you see what I mean. Like, I, I think I should have done that. Just play the odds. Because you in these type of scenarios, this these are the, the plays that are going to either um, be really, really good or um, they're just going to be like a risk, you know? It's like the risk is worth a reward type of thing, right? Because, like, now, right, like, he has, he got rid of my, like, he, he missed, right? He missed. So, if, I, if let's say, um... He hit it to begin with. I would have still like let's say he he hit the the freaking uh roar right. I would still have my cowboy in the grave. So I can hold it for later, and then like, and 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 have a, a surprise factor, but at the time it's like oh shit I don't want to risk it. You know you get kind of antsy so you get kind of panicked it's like ah I get what if he hits it what if he hits it you know it's like right here I just I could have just gone have the cowboy in the grave, but who knows I don't know his IP. Yeah, so like that's it. Yeah, and this really has the afterburners as well. Yeah, afterburner pop and then get rid of my evenly, which is kind of annoying. If I kept it in my hand, I, would, I think it would have been okay. Well, not really. Uh, I mean, I guess I, I would have given rid of the babble. Or maybe I wouldn't even use it then. I, maybe I would. I wouldn't even have. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I would have even used it just then. I'll just wait for my turn, let him, um, yeah, he attacks, not use it, right, kept, kept it in my hand. Or maybe I would have used it, because that gets rid of two things, right here. Because that means he can't unicorn, well, like, yeah, he wouldn't be able to unicorn. Yeah, he would, yeah, he wouldn't, yeah, fuck, should I get the, uh, this is the hindsight plays, like, he's like, like after the fact like okay yeah I should have just kept it in my hand and that would have been like a totally different story like what what would you do like oh my god so I draw and I draw freaking circles like oh my god it's fucking amazing the fucking tower of the cards out of the cards man activate okay Nibiru fucking rock Nibiru was annoying the, like the one of the next downfalls like apart from that if Nibiru wasn't a thing solid would be much better but the fact that Nibiru is a thing that's why it's like uh, it can be so fragile at times but that's why I was just finding alternatives right like finding more ways to like try to play through Nibiru or be more um con uh, you either develop a, a, conser a conservative style right uh, towards Nibiru because like if if you just uh, go, uh, if you summon underneath its limit, that means you have setup, right? Which is like example, right? Let's say you just go, let's say you open up like the way to Stalio, but you don't, right? Like, like oh, okay, let me, okay. I know, I know this is the one up, but let's say let, just for an example, let's say you go, um, you you have Gazelle, you have Gazelle, and you have uh, um, one of the traps. Roar or rage, right? Just you go summon, summon gazelle, right? Send uh, a falco, falco bounce gazelle. Falco links into links, uh, to, uh, uh, bay links, reading to bay links, and set your trap. And then you you have like uh, some sort of follow up, but you don't just pass with nothing. You know what I mean? Compared to you doing and extending your whole hand, and then they go nibiru, and then you just left with dead traps. Does that make sense? Like that that like that's a way to play as well, but. To do that, you gotta be really confident within yourself, because otherwise you go into this panic mode and you just start doing things. You just like, oh crap, no, I I want to lose, and you just fucking just go for it. But of course, sometimes it works out, but um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, cause if, I, if I had the evenly still, I would just go evenly, like easy, easy evenly. Yeah, evenly would just be so amazing right here. Like, no, hands down, like, evenly. It's gone. He didn't chain, though. That's confusing. Yeah, like, I have setup. I'm like... 
I have this. Like, what can you do? Well, what's in his hand? He was trying to go for. Uh, uh, what you gonna do? Like, what you gonna go for? You know, like, you know, a unicorn. Yeah, I think this is one of those moments. Where like, oh shit, what should I do? What should I do? I think I think I could have played this a little bit different though. Ha like honestly, I think I, I could have played this a lot better than I than I than I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could have played this a lot better than I did. Like using up the battle phase before I did anything else. Giving uh, yeah, this this is not hindsight though, this is all like, yeah, hindsight and stuff. Or right here I'm like, okay, I got this, I won. Like I, I I'm like feeling so confident right now. Like oh shit, I think I just won. Making sure I keep everything, everything into account. Checking if they did that last turn or this turn. Just turn. Just, I think he's just trying to get sorted, making sure I have everything accounted for. I want to like leave something unlooked, you know. And he freaking abuses me. Oh my god. Yeah, see, like uh, like in hindsight, right? Let's say I did play the Link Spider and I didn't use Foxy yet. You know, like. Yeah. Yeah, it could have been a bit different. But that's just how it is sometimes. I think it lures and he just misses. <laughs> he draws a fucking another Nibiru. Yeah, no, he just goes for game. Okay, let's go speed it up. Okay, because I think I think we're approaching time. Yeah, yeah, we're approaching time. Um, I look at my hand, I'm like, oh my god, his hand's fucking broken. It's so good, so good. I'm trying, I'm trying to go f as fast as I can because, um, we're um, I'm pretty sure time is like less than five minutes, like less than five. I'm pretty sure. I remember correctly so I'm like trying to like just go super fast going fast going fast oh, look at my usage my usage field center so cool thanks to Clinton if you have any if you want any just um message him uh, if you're in a group on the Facebook group um just tag him Clinton Dowling and he'll just make you any field center or token that you want came out really nice Yeah, when you play in time, it makes you play really flustered. Like you get really flustered, and you start doing plays you shouldn't be doing. But like, that's just the nature of of, of, the, of the of the of the rules, right? Makes you rush, makes you panic, makes you not really think things properly. So I'm not sure if it's like I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing or like uh, yeah, just pitch special. Right here, I think I just had to risk it. Like I can't really be conservative. He because we're we're like almost in time. Any little damage he does, I just basically lose. I think he's resolving. I think he's resolving. I, I'm kind of hesitant because, like, he, he's he's held the Nibiru before, like, quite long. So I was like, is he just holding Nibiru? Like, <laughs> if he does, I'm just going to lose. I feel pretty good, though, because I have bull trap. I'm going to have bull trap set up. Just thinking. He's like, oh shit, does he have it? Does he not have it? And then, um, 
to tell you. He's gonna bounce back because I like that play. Because if like he doesn't bring you there, um, you're just always gonna have a link because you have Gazelle in hand. And Gazelle's gonna trigger. Uh, Roar set. And I feel I, at this point I'm like, okay, I got this. I have this. I have a game. I, I got it. I was, just don't push for game. Just have a Kaigo or some shit. And right here, like, uh, I was like, what the hell? Like, the fact that he hard opened the freaking cards he needed to, like, play through this was just like, really, man? Like, what the? Because I, I, I can't Bailings. I can't save my guy because I can't banish. So he goes Twin Twister, right? This card's a lure. I have to negate. Yeah, negate. And luckily, um, it doesn't get banished because Lancia. Cards can't get banished. But like, stinking, stinking, stinking. What's that? And like, okay, I mean, I guess <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking, you know, <laughs> let it die. And I, like, I ha I have to drop the gazelle because at this point we're like at two minutes left, so I'm just trying to prevent any damage. That's why I dropped it. I just had to like. Otherwise, it just sort of blues. And then uh, uh, Falco's gonna set the, um, the roar to f like uh, play around the Nibiru with the following turn. Like if he doesn't Nibiru, because like it's you roar. If if it's set up, you can uh, plays around Nibiru. And he just see what I mean? Like he had the freaking afterburn and the jamming whip. Like that's like a perfect answer to my board. That was quite annoying. I was like, wow, really. Like, what the fuck, man? It's in harp. Turn on Lancia. I'm like, what the hell, dude? This is annoying. I need a fucking solid card. I need to, if I had one, one solid card, I won. Easy. But I drew a fucking Lancia. Set Crow. Set Lancia. Shotgun Lancia. And he goes, he goes, okay, engage. This is all happy. Engage. Draw one. <laughs> oh my god, it's so close. It's gonna be so freaking close. I didn't permit that shit. I don't want to fucking lose those shit with Shark Cannon. Oh my god, I live! And then he forgets that I Lancia it. And he tries to go for um, Gizmak. I was like, oh my god, if I did Lancia, fucking Lancia save me. I draw, I'm like, oh my god, I just fight. My draw this the, the previous turn. I'm gonna be fucking amazing if I did it. Oh my god, I'm like, like, oh my god, I got, I got game. I'll just go Stalio, bounce, have roll for, for anything. I just need to make some damage. Like, if you know, if you, okay, this is what I meant. That minute would have benefited me. Like, I would have won if I didn't fix my damn camera. <laughs> no, that's not me. <laughs> Hopefully, enjoy the video. Like, subscribe if you have it. And thanks for watching. I mean, like, when you, you land it immediately, which is good, like, you're playing fast. Yeah. But I saw the engage, I uh, totally forgot about this. I was like, oh, engage, wait. Should I chain this? So you had to choose between, oh, what do I want to do? If I chain this, summon this, then I would have had enough damage to win the game. No, that, the crow was there. So it was either.